You know the music. Time to dance. It's been almost two years since gamers were treated to a proper first-person Halo game. And though Halo 3 still enjoys popularity on Xbox Live, there is significant anticipation for an all-new game. With Halo 3 ODST, Bungie has taken the well-known universe and created a whole new story that takes place between the events of Halo 2 and 3. Rather than play as Master Chief, though, you'll play as the Rookie, an orbital drop shock trooper in the war-torn city of New Mombasa. We were lucky enough to get some hands-on time with the game's four-player co-op mode, Farfight, to see if it can live up to the esteemed Halo heritage. Farfight takes inspiration from Gears of War 2's Horde mode, hitting up to four players against wave after wave of Covenant enemies. Your character, the Rookie, handles differently to the Master Chief. He can't jump as high, nor can he move as fast. The Rookie also lacks Master Chief's shield for absorbing damage, and instead has something called stamina. This works much like a traditional health system, with a bar at the top of the screen showing how much stamina you have left, but this can be replenished by visiting a health station. There are also some new weapons in the game, namely a suppressed SMG rifle and an auto mag pistol. The rifle feels like a much tougher weapon than the Halo 3 rifle. It's louder, has armor-piercing bullets, and has a great zoom mode for picking out headshots from afar. The gun feels very powerful. However, extended shooting results in some pretty hefty recoil, so we found it best to stick to short bursts. The auto mag harks back to the much-loved pistol from their original Halo and is extremely fun. Thanks to its powerful nature, we were able to pull off some very satisfying kills. Hurry up. The Alpha Sight map we played took place mostly indoors. The enemies that appear are never the same each time the level is played, and though we got hunters on one play through the map, the next time we were inundated with brutes instead. This random element means no two games are the same, adds to the intense and unpredictable feel of the mode. Teamwork plays a big part in Firefly, and in order to progress through the waves, you'll have to use cover and keep an eye on all sides of the attack. But where's the challenge, you ask? Well, each team is given only seven lives, which are shared between them. When all the lives are gone, the game ends, with extra lives only given to the team when you complete a wave. There is an unlimited number of waves to play through, and each wave has a number of stages to complete in order to advance to the next. After a wave is completed, skulls are introduced, which gives the enemy extra abilities. You'll see skulls such as Catch, which causes all the enemies to go grenade crazy and bombard the team with plasma grenades. The game tracks both an individual and team score, which gives the mode a great just one more wave feel as the team tries to rack up the highest score. There are also score multipliers to help the team along, such as double kills, triple kills, and killing sprees. Though graphically the game is similar to Halo 3, the art style is slightly different. It retains the futuristic Earth Halo look, but adds a twist of film noir with dark and moody environments. Bungie also mentioned that the game had been influenced by the sci-fi classic Blade Runner, and it shows with much of the game taking place at night and the lights of the city glowing in the background. Halo 3 ODST is shaping up to be a great addition to the Halo universe, and the addictive just one more wave feeling of Firefight could prove to be a great time sink in multiplayer. We can't wait to get our hands on the finished game, so keep an eye on GameSpot for more on Halo 3 ODST before the game is released on September 22nd.